I ain't gonna keep you from it. Introducing to you first, he's done roast battle, he's killed roast battle. It's a pleasure to have him here. Please welcome Derek Humphrey. <laughs> Derek! What up? What's up, man? Oh, uh, just chilling, man. Chilling? Hell yeah. It's either here or the men's shelter. So. Fair, fair, fair. Here I am. Okay. Buddy, I'm so excited to have you up here, man. So, I'm going to get your opponent up to the stage. His opponent yeah, comes to the stage, has done this, ba has done roast battle, she's killed roast battle. Would you guys please start clapping hands right now for Divya Gunnasakari! <laughs> Nico, how are you doing? Good, good, good to have another black person on this stage. You have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Not to say I'm rude to anybody, but you know. So look, <laughs> y'all, this is our second battle, okay? Is this medal battle and the prosecutor in front of us? <laughs> no, y'all tell me. Y'all ready to see our first of two main events tonight? <laughs> She's really cool and everything. I think we got a lot in common. Like, both of us have really embarrassing mustaches. <laughs> Derek's father, uncle, and sister all died from drug overdoses. Yes, very funny, rule of threes. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, not really surprising to find out the whole family is bad at portion control. <laughs> Thank you, tech support. <laughs> Again, it's tough to roast Divya. She lost her job uh, during the pandemic because you can't work remotely at 7-Eleven. <laughs> Thank you, Chris Farley, if he actually li li lived in a van down by the river. <laughs> um, no, I really like Derek. I mean, uh, honest, I worship him, you know, because he looks like the elephant man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm glad that you clarified that, because, like, she didn't tell me what her religion was. She was just like, I really agree with what Kyrie Irving is putting out there right now. <laughs> One more time for come down horse of hair. Uh, okay, that was it. Yeah, that was it. Yeah. Oh, wait, no, she got one more. Okay, my bad. I didn't pay attention. My bad. I mean, Derek, I'd tell you to go fuck yourself, but we don't have time for you to find your penis. Uh, <laughs> Derek knows he needs to lose some weight. Uh, you know, he even tried the Subway sandwich diet. <laughs> That's where you think you can lose weight by molesting a bunch of children. <laughs> and there you have it. Give him a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. I do not envy the judges on this one. So I'm going to start with, let's see. Rami, what you think, man? What you got? This is great. It looks like a scene from an Indian buffet. Uh, <laughs> hey, Divya, Divya, write any good jokes? Uh, <laughs> nah, I'm kidding. Uh, last one was good. Uh, no, this looks like Candace Owens meeting one of her fans. Uh, <laughs> and once again, what's with all the low energy mean jokes? This is like mean ASMR right now. <laughs> hey, Divya, you suck. <laughs> hey, Derek, you're fat. <laughs> Who's want to fall asleep? No, this is fun. You guys are great. You guys, actually, I've seen you guys both before, and you guys are both killers. And uh, and this was actually a lot of fun. I'm gonna. I think Derek edged it out for sure, but Debbie is a killer too. So I'm excited to see what comes. That's one for Derek Hopper, ladies and gentlemen. Um, 
Yeah, this was like watching a fight between two Gap Store employees or something. Uh, <laughs> all right, I got nothing. No, I don't know. But uh, no, this was <laughs> really good, both of you. Uh, I don't know. Um, I thought, uh, yeah, I think maybe Derek edged it out on this one, but I'm excited to see the next round. Here you go, the two for Derek Humphries, my friend. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I like this though. It was it was it was, it was pretty equal though. But I, I feel the same way. I think D edged a little bit out there. Yeah. A little bit for Derek on. He it. won by a little bit. That's little Derek bit. Humphrey, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Round two. Bob Schultz, give me a point for the start. If y'all don't give him that, he's like the first one. Give him a round of applause. All right, Derek played football in high school and then went on to Notre Dame as the hunchback. Uh, Derek is married. He clearly has a type. Type 2 diabetes. Uh, Derek obviously enjoys food. You know, he takes a page out of Paula Dean's cookbook. Yeah, whenever he cooks, he always uses way too much of the N-word. Okay, this is true. Derek has been seen in the KKK. Yeah. <laughs> these are these are jokes, lady. No, it's true. That is his actual bra size. <laughs> can identify as a woman. Okay. <laughs> I mean, a push-up bra is the only push-up you can do. I still have <laughs> one more joke. It's over! <laughs> Finish him! Finish him! Derek, you redneck without a neck. Derek's so white, the only black friend Derek's family had over was black tar heroin. It's a fun time. Good old Gino being kind of American means I'm a victim, so thank you. <laughs> Divya, Divya loves Invisalign. Um, not the braces, but the invisible line that exists between her and the lower casts from where she's from. <laughs> the Indian caste system dates back 3,000 years, um, AKA the last time Divya ever got laid. Um, Divya's so ugly, she could ride a bus safely in India. <laughs> oh, man. Divya's lived in New York for quite a while, but she hates the homeless because they still smell better than her parents. Fired. Growing up, uh, Divya's family had a lot of weird, you know, family pets like, uh, you know, ferrets, ducklings, a human from a lower caste from them. Nico, you fucking idiot.
liked all that. So, Mike Britt, Big Dog, what does he say? Who's that? Oh, here we go. Yeah. This, yeah, this is Divya right here. Yeah, yeah. As soon as he said Divya ugly, I was like, get the fuck out of here, yo. Get the fuck out of here, nigga. You crazy? All right, that, yeah, but no. Yeah, but yeah, Divya. At the same time over here, he went to Divya ugly. We both said, get the fuck out of here, nigga. <laughs> That's that bullshit. Divya fine as a motherfucker, yeah. <laughs> A little mocha uh, ass. He's old and black. Look it's at a this mocha bar, bitch okay. right here. I mean, I'm um, mocha lady. Mocha lady. That's one. Virginia got us the carrot. Yeah. Um, yeah, that was awesome. I love the. Um, <laughs> the uh, anyway, but yeah, there were so many good jokes. But yeah, like the KKK joke was so funny at the Invisalign. But uh, yeah, I'd give it to Divya as well. Oh, I sorry. Wait, I th uh, all I want to say is I think the real winner is the girl when you said Derek was in the KKK. The girl who was like, "Is that true?" <laughs> yeah, over there I saw her. She was like, "No way! They're letting a Klansman battle. I'm about to walk right out of here. Who's next? Donald John Trump?" <laughs> and her friends, I saw her friends, were like, "No, it's a joke." Right? Uh, Reminder, we're at a comedy show. Not, We're not at a rally. We're at a comedy show. <laughs> but I do admire Derek losing all the men and the women, but being like, Divya's ugly, right, everyone? We were all about to be like, boo! Make America great again! She's hot! She's hot! <laughs> all right, anyway, sorry. Round three. Five jokes, tit for tat. Derek Humphrey's gonna get us started. Ladies and gentlemen, for the final time for this battle, let's roll! Uh, Divya volunteers at a, a pet shelter, or as she calls it, grocery shopping. <laughs> Keep doing it. Uh. All right, Derek served in the war in Iraq. Uh, he got a purple heart. Uh, that's the color your heart turns when your arteries are clogged. <laughs> uh, Divya runs a comedy show for women and LGBTQIA plus performers. The only thing that show doesn't include is comedy. <laughs> I didn't have the women anyways, who gives a shit? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, truth hurts, you guys suck. Uh. All right, thank you, baby got back fat. Uh, <laughs> Derek, Derek runs a show called Bushwick Bears, uh, which makes sense, because he's like Winnie the Pooh. Yeah, uh, he's always pantless in front of children. <laughs> Thank you, Jiz Ahmed. Um, <laughs> I'm trying for anything. Who gives a shit? Uh, you know that Divya is not that great a comic because she's an Indian woman comedy without a job on a late night show. <laughs> <laughs> a little fourth wall, sorry. <laughs> uh, Derek did serve in Iraq, but thinks it was a war fought in vain. Uh, other things his family does in vain? Heroin. <laughs> That's it. Uh, okay. All right, I'm just making sure no one's calling for anything. Okay. Uh, one time, Divya's mom ran over her foot with her car before a soccer game, and she goes, God damn it, now who's going to get prearranged married to me? <laughs> Thank you, Honey Boo Boo at Rock Bottom. Uh, Derek is married. He's obviously the big spoon, which is the same spoon his dad used when he OD'd on heroin. It's true. I'm, I'm a poor piece of shit, whereas uh, Divya went to college in New Hampshire 
did fencing and was a fucking sorority member. She didn't have to die to even come back as a rich, white, entitled woman. I liked it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. It was better than, yeah. They're not giving you enough because you're a white man. I know. <laughs> I know. Derek, thank you, children of the corn syrup. Uh, <laughs> Derek's favorite ice cream is Mr. Softy. Yeah, because that's how he introduces his penis to children. Oh! I try to get it hard. I don't know. Give a round of applause, ladies. <laughs> Y'all, first of all, very fun. Very fun. As always, I like to watch the crowd react. I like to watch everybody here have a good time. I like to watch y'all be in and out of having whatever time y'all have it over there. <laughs> now, with that being said, Jacob Williams, I'm going to start with you. Who you got, bro? Um, yeah, that was a great battle. I guess uh, I got a little confused at first when she said Derek served in Iraq. I thought you meant he was served a rack of ribs. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but uh, no, <laughs> no uh, you were both super funny. <laughs> Uh, I, uh, I guess I'll give it to Divya, but yeah, great pedal. That's one for Divya, ladies and gentlemen, Mike Britt. Yeah, I'm going to go with Divya on this one, Divya. You like a smooth assassin. I like how you, you approach this motherfucker. There yeah, you go. Right. Yeah, yeah. It's two for Divya. <laughs> Sewn up. But Robbie Good with last words on this round. Man, that was so fun. Divya just got better as you went. It was like a Tarantino movie. That was fucking awesome. <laughs> It was like reverse eight mile. The ethnic person got it over on the w incel white guy. <laughs> yeah, I am Indian. I am a fucking bum. Yeah, I was in an arranged marriage from my mom, you know. Uh, yeah, yeah, that was, yeah, that was great. Yeah, he gets it. Uh, everyone else is like, Who, what is he talking about? <laughs> I listen to Taylor Swift, uh, but uh, Divya definitely won. Derek is funny. I really think just Divya had the momentum, so great job. And Divya got it to Karen takes our first main event. Give him a round of applause, y'all. Great work. Just.